are these people? This story is going to be hard for me personally, and mm -hmm. I'm sure it's going to be hard for a lot of you. There's going to be a part where we're going to hear this little girl, so I, if that might be too much, and then some forensics that will come into play. Uh, this might be a stream, uh, segment that you might want to step away from, mm. but I do think it is important. Um, I've been holding on to this for a while. We kind of mentioned this is Hen Raja, by the way. This is the song. She is the one who is mentioned in Macklemore's song that he put out, uh, I believe now back in May um, or April. But there's more information regarding her death that I did want to share. And I think it's important in terms of knowing what her last few moments in this world are, but also just kind of the lack of d just disregard of this little girl in light of what's happening in Gaza, which I think is totally sick. Um, that I felt it was important to talk about her. Um, so, God. Um, so this article is from the Middle East Eye. Um, they report forensic architecture probe concludes Israeli tank likely killed Palestinian child Hind Rajab. So they report. A UK-based research group published the findings of a forensic in investigation on Friday, revealing that Hind Rajab, the six-year-old Palestinian girl found dead along with members of her family in northern Gaza earlier this year, was most likely killed by Israeli tank fire. This investigation found that the car in which Rajab had, was killed had been hit with 335 bullets, with most of the entries coming from the right side of the vehicle. The investigation was conducted by Forensic Architecture, Al Jazeera's Fault Lines, and the NGO Earshot. We're going to go into them later. Forensic Architecture said that the gun used for this attack was firing at a range of 750 to 900 rounds per minute, and that this range exceeds that of the K uh, AK-type AK assault rifle, that's commonly attributed to Palestinian fighters operating in Gaza. Gotta love a this range of rounds per minute. What's that? Gotta love a Kalishnikov. They just <laughs> tend to work. This mm. range of rounds per minute is consistent with Israeli army issued weaponry, such as the M4 assault rifle or the FN mag machine gun on a Merkaba tank. We designed that M4 there. rifle, by the way. So. You know, right. um, the probe using a mix of kinetic analysis, satellite imagery, and footage sourced from the site of the incident also found that the Israeli tank that fired upon the air vehicle Rajab was sitting inside must have been positioned within 12, 13 to 23 meters when it killed Leon, Rajab's 15 year old cousin. The close proximity means that the tank must have been able to see into the vehicle, with the investigators concluding, it's not plausible that the shooter could not have seen that the car was occupied by civilians, including children. From the tank position indicated by the greatest alignment between entry and exit holes, we concluded that the shooter would have had a clear view of the car and its passengers, the investigation said. In other words, they would have been aware of the presence of two children. The investigation refutes the claim by Israel denying responsibility for the killing and said that Israeli forces were not present in the area of the time of Rajab's death. Rajab was found dead on the 10th of February this year in northern Gaza after nearly two weeks of being trapped inside a car with her family while being surrounded by Israeli military forces and being subject to Israeli fire. Youssef Zeno and Ahmed al Madun, two paramedics set to rescue Rajab after she was called pleading for help from inside the vehicle, which was under Israeli fire, were also found dead. The last time that rescue workers heard from Rajab was on the 29th of January. Her mother, Wissam Rajab, previously told Mid Middle East Eye the family was separated when they tried to flee the area, 
which was under intense Israeli attacks. Due to poor weather, Wissam had put her daughter in the vehicle along with extended relatives, with, while the rest of the family fled on foot. After hearing gunfire in the area, the family called the Red Crescent to tell them the car was getting shot at. Initially, Wissam thought everyone in the car was killed until she got a call from Leilan Hamade, Hin, Hin's 15-year-old cousin, saying, Hin and I am wounded, and all my family is dead. I don't want to die. Please call an ambulance to save us. I'm scared. The tanks are 500 meters away from me. The line went dead and Wissam thought they had both been killed. But when she called again, Hin answered and said, I'm alive, but Leon was murdered. Mom, I'm afraid. They are all dead. Come and get me. Earlier this year, the Palestinian Red Crescent Society released an audio recording of the last phone call with Hin during which her final pleas can be heard amid the rattle of the fire, gunfire. I'm scared of the dark, come get me, she said. Ugh. Her death became a symbol of pro-Palestinian protesters all around the world. At Columbia University in New York City, student demonstrators took over and occupied a building on campus and renamed it Hins Hall in honor of her job. On the 6th of May, American rapper Macklemore released a song titled Hins Hall, both to memorialize the job, as well as the ongoing Gaza solidarity encampments being erected on university campus across the U.S. Um, I am going to play that clip, the video of the phone call. Okay. Um, so if people need to step away, I suggest you do that now and come back within the next, I'll say, three to four minutes. Okay. Um, otherwise, uh, I think I probably want to have you read the um, subtitles to this reef, if you don't mind. No, I can do that. Uh, um... So, but yeah, so this is what the Red Crescent released uh, with Hind. This is the last few moments, um, you know, that she... Um, that we hear her on the phone. So you can go ahead and reef and play. Yeah, I'm just fixing our uh, new screen. Um, cool. How are you doing? They are dead. Are they dead? May I see you? Yes. <laughs> are they in the car with you now? Yes. Where are you hiding now? Where are you hiding? In the car. You're in the car right now, not outside. Stay in the car. I'm going to stay on the phone talking to you. I won't hang up, okay? The tank is next to me. Where is the tank? Next to me. Is the tank near you? Yes. Is it moving or is it still? Did someone get out of it? Yes, it's moving. It's moving? Is it moving next to the car? Or is it coming from behind? Or is it coming from in front? From the front of the car. The tank is coming at you from the front? Yes. Is it very close? Yes, very, very close. Is it moving? Yes. Okay, don't be scared. Please stay with me. I'm with you, sweetie. I'm with you. I'm with you until someone comes to take you. I will not leave you alone. When someone comes, you can hang up, okay? What? When someone comes and gets me, you can hang up. No, I want to stay with you until I am very sure one from the Crescent or someone came and got you. I won't hang up. Even if the soldiers, God forbid, comes, don't hang up, okay? We don't want to hang up. I'm here with you. Please come take me, please. What, dear? Please stay with me. Darling, I swear I'm with you. I'm here with you, talking to you. I don't even want to hang up. 
What is the time? Uh? What? What is the time? It's almost night. What? It's almost night. I'm scared. Come get me, please. Darling, I swear if I could, I would come and get you. Say, Ya Allah. Ya Allah. God protect us. God protect us. Ugh. I mean, Sex. yeah. Sex. How many of you know a six year old in your life? Imagine you have to make that phone call. This is what we are complicit in. So this is why Bowman's vote for the Iron Dome has caused. So I don't give a fuck that he went to Israel and he met Palestinians and he ch and he turned his ways. That does not help the fact that he is supportive of Biden who let this girl die. Mm -hmm. That's led over, I'm going to say 50. Because there's no way that could be an accurate count now because they killed all the counters. Yeah. So I'm going to say at least 50,000 are dead. That we know of. But anyway, so this is more of the fuck shit when this was addressed um, at a press briefing. That this is Matt Miller, right? Like, yeah, I, I think yeah, yeah. He, you know, honestly, they should have showed him this. They should have had him listen to this. And have him squirm for his complicity and his lies in terms of what happened to him. But let's see what Matt Miller has to say regarding him. Oh, here we go. Uh, a UK-based research group concluded Israeli tank likely killed six-year-old Palestinian child, uh, Hind Rajab. Investigation revealed that Rajab's car was hit with 355 bullets, and it's not plausible that Israel, Israeli tank couldn't see uh, children inside the car. Have you seen the reports, and do you have any updates on the investigation? It's been more than four months, and a lot of my colleagues have been asking about yeah, that. Yeah, so we have seen the reports, and I will tell you what our latest interaction with the government of Israel is about this. So we went to the government of Israel uh, and pressed them for information, and they told us that there were no IDF tanks operating in the area, no IDF forces operating in the area at the time of that attack, which I believe is something they've also said publicly. Uh, after further reporting, we went back to them uh, and pressed them again. And so, um, what by hand said they were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the tank so, hole in the car leads me to believe, like, the child said they were. Yeah. So, and I think in another clip I saw, he has a six-year-old. Mm -hmm. So he should be a little bit more understanding. Uh, if your six-year-old tells you something, that generally you have the more of the inclination to believe what they're saying. So, but because this little girl is not her, or boy, whatever, is not his, he doesn't have to care. Yeah. Go ahead.
What they told us is that they went to the UN organizations, they went to the Palestinian Red Crescent, they asked for information, because um, you've seen all of those organizations quoted in stories, they asked for information that, could use, that they could use um, to further an investigation, and no one provided them with any information. Go to That's hell! The latest that we have on the So case. who shot the 355 tank bullets? I'm not able to, I, look, I'm not on the ground, I can't offer any kind of assessment about this. Uh, that's why we've called for an independent, we called for the government of Israel to conduct an inve investigation. Um, uh, I can't you know what, go back what a their second. internal process. Go back a second. Go back like 10 seconds. Because I think he made a Freudian slip here. What their internal processes so, look like. All I can tell you so is what they've. Oh, no, no, all I can tell you is what they've told us, and what they've said is they went to the UN and the Palestinian Red Crescent and asked them to supply information that would help them. Uh, and what they claim is that they were were given none. But it's not concluded yet the investigation, or is it? No, I would refer you to the government of Israel for that. I can I can only tell you what we what they have told us. Okay. I think he slipped. I think he didn't go back far enough. But I think he said he slipped and said. They should do, we should have an independent study. And then he went into Israel mm -hmm. doing it, like the study. So he made a slip right there that there should be an independent study um, rather than having Israel investigate themselves and them coming up with nothing. Well, you know what? Uh, there is something. So as we said, um, just have to check. So forensics architecture in affiliation with Al Jazeera mm. did a study. Okay. So they analyzed this. So let's see what they say uh, happened to Hind. There is sound here for this. Oh. My uncle, his wife, children were, were killed in cold blood. Save her life from Israeli tank fire. In Rajab's case, a six-year-old child pleading for her life shocked the world. To understand what happened when Hind and her relatives were attacked, we worked with Forensic Architecture and the audio research nonprofit Earshot to reconstruct the timeline. So this is a satellite image that was satellite imagery from Planet Labs taken that day shows Israeli tanks up the road from where the family car was parked at the gas station. This is around 3.31 p.m., a little less than an hour after Layen's call with Omar. We can also see the amassing of um, Israeli tanks in the area, which are positioned at strategic locations, such as the intersections of roads, so they have lines of sight along the main avenues and streets in the area. Crucial to the analysis is the short call between Omar and Layen. <laughs> We hear a total of 64 gunshots fired in just six seconds. What we heard on the phone call, is there any evidence of any kind of crossfire in the area? No, what we're hearing are 64 gunshots that are all similar in characteristics, similar in loudness. The gunshots were happening roughly 74 milliseconds apart. This meant that the gun firing these shots was firing around 750 to 900 rounds per minute which is in excess of what an AK-47 or a Kalashnikov will fire, which are the most common assault rifles attributed to Hamas. This range is consistent with Israeli army weaponry, such as the M4 rifle or the FN Mag machine gun on a Merkava tank. We can derive that for the shortest interval of 24 milliseconds, the shooter had to be 13 meters away from the phone and with the maximum interval that we hear, which is 40 milliseconds, the shooter has to be 23 meters away from the phone. It puts us within a kind of ring around the Kia that's between 13 and 23 meters. Based off that range from the sound analysis, combined with satellite imagery and photos of the area around the car and gas station, they were also able to examine where the shooting could have come from. We marked all of the bullet holes that we could see from those images. 
there are holes which appear to be exit holes, so larger openings that are flared that we witness on more on one side of the car than the other. So this gives us a kind of general direction as to the direction of fire. So there's one very distinct line of bullets that we can see at the back, the rear right-hand side of the car, which is a volley of about 30 or so bullets. Well, remember at the end of Fabio's analysis, we saw this ring. Um, and what we're able to do is to superimpose this ring onto the site of the killing. And so we situate the 3D model of the car inside of the site and we position it in its resting position outside the gas station. And we're also able to model the Makava tank and we're able to direct the weapons on the tank towards the car. And this is important because it allows us to draw a line between the guns on the tank and the entry holes that we see on the Kia. So based on positioning the tank in hundreds of places within that ring of 13 to 23 meters, we find that there's a position immediately to the south of the Kia, which appears to be the most likely position of the shooter for this recording. So from what you've assessed of the Israeli tank position, at that distance, is it likely the Israeli soldiers would have been able to see who was in the car? We think that it's very likely that they would have been able to see who was in the car because we know that these tanks are fitted with optical equipment which allows them to see for many kilometers. So yeah, it seems very likely that whatever was going on in the car 13 meters away would have been easily visible. <laughs> Asking me to go get her when I can't reach her, my sweetheart. I swear I couldn't reach you. Forgive me, sweetheart. I couldn't reach her. Oh. Well, good to know I'm not completely emotionally dead inside. <laughs> Here's the thing with this, though. If this happened here, that would be outrage. So, this story has been very repressed. You know, but in spite of that, and honestly, even with us in independent media, I'm very shocked that this story, this child has not been reported on enough. It was one thing to talk about Macklemore, you know, and have this song dedicated to her, which is fine, but like most people may not necessarily know who this child was. But the fact that like, she was six. Six years old. Mm. And the last few moments of her life, she was fearing for her life. And, and it just makes me mad that this story, of all the stories that we probably have done, has not been reported on enough. It's one thing for mainstream media to not, but it's another thing that even within our space, this has not been shown at all, as far as I know. And it, it, it kills me that in this country, we are so apathetic because we don't need to see it. Like, man, we see, like, a lot of this stuff all the time. Like, you can look at my Twitter feed right now. Basically, I see it's basically, like, dead bodies or mismangled bodies or burned victims, you know, in Gaza. That's all I'm seeing on my feed. And the fact that, like, there is not any more outrage over this and just a total disregard from our government, like, to basically make the stand to be like, okay, enough is a fucking enough. We're not sending you any more weapons. You're going to investigate this story. People who are responsible for this should be fired. Like, 
Like, you would think that we will have a president who will call for BB's head at this point for what happened to this little girl. And I'm sure if he, if she was an American, that would have been that would have happened. But because it's a Palestinian, there's a total disregard for her life. Like, Ugh. you know, someone made a comment I saw on Twitter that you know, you know, in a way that Anne Frank is memorialized hell. Like, we have to read Anne Frank in school now. I hope that one day it will come to a point where we're able to hear his story in school. Because, you know, this is, this is just so sad. Mm -hmm. Like, Indian Side said, Richie, Richard definitely showed it. Yeah, we know that Richie is going to go is going to show this, but what does it say for everyone else that we know who's not going to show? This? Yeah, um, you're only by example, so yeah, that sucks. I don't know, but shout out to those guys for putting that put together that like 3D model, figuring all that stuff out. Good for them, mm -hmm. you know. I'm sure they'll be attacked and. For all sorts of things, so you well, know. the science doesn't lie. So yeah, you know. But, but given that, and even if you think it's Hamas, Hamas doesn't have tanks. No, no. So like, yeah, they don't have the kind of fire firepower that Israel has to be able to shoot a car three hundred times. And you'll be able to tell from the like the ballistics test what kind of bullet gun is being used. Yeah. So 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 really the idea is allegedly a tank, please. I think like <laughs> you know, you can tell it's a tank. We right. have the technology to to make that distinction. So the fact that it's like we suspect well, even it's a tank, like. Okay, weird, weird gun nerd, right? I I don't know what LMGs or heavy machine guns that Hamas has access to, but I imagine if they're using AKs for everything else, then it's some um, Kalashnikov der derivative. So we're talking RPK, we're talking any of those things. Those have very distinct fire rates. Essentially, that's all the same firing mechanism, Colin, right? Which, like, I think AKs are, like, 400 BPM, something like that, 140. I actually knew this because I looked it up at one point. But, um, yeah, that's, like, very specific fire rates for those weapons. So right. the fact that they know 300 RPM BPM, uh... Or whatever it was for a second, you know. So, yeah. Uh, Nick Rivera's BPM, beats per minute, or bullets per minute, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, but, yeah. So, but yeah, good on them. I'm sure they'll be demonetized for doing that kind of stuff, just like we are. So, if you want to keep the lights on and keep us talking about this kind of stuff, go to codashv.com slash Indie News Network, scan that QR code on your screen, or if you're in the live chat with us, put exclamation mark, donate in the chat, and leave us a little super chat that way. I think we got a $2 tip on Indie's Rockfin, um, hey, which is nice. You. So, appreciate that. Um, Anna Mayer's holding it down over there. That broke my soul. Never saw that video before. I need a drink. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I feel Same. that. Yep. Same. So. Same. Uh, Indy uh, saying his Brave browser is not showing the stream on Rumble. Seems to be working on everyone else's. Hopefully. I don't know. If the alternative platforms could figure some stuff out, that'd be great. Um, But yeah, don't forget to like uh, and subscribe. Hit the share button. Comment. You know how this works. 
you know, help us get to 3K. Very easy stuff. Otherwise, thanks for watching.